Have you ever witnessed a magic trick that left you astonished, amazed, and in wonder? Wondering how it was done, wondering why it deceived you, wondering, was that real magic? So you ask them to perform the trick again. They do. This time your senses are engaged. You're touching, you're feeling, you're listening for an audible cue. You're looking for sleight of hand, you're looking for the switch and bait. And at the end, you're left with the same result, astonished. You beg the question, show me how that trick was done. They show you the trick and ultimately you're left in disappointment. Disappointed in the simplistic deception of the trick. You can never watch that trick again and be in the same amazement and awe as the first time because you know how it was performed. That's exactly what Lamborghini does. Lamborghini takes a simple, basic car, transforms it into a supercar with scissor doors, a V12 engine, and this exotic loud paint job. But at the end of the day, it's built with ordinary, off-the-shelf, common parts. In this video, I'm gonna continue sharing my story, part four, and revealing Lamborghini's dirty little secret of how they use off-the-shelf common parts to build their cars. So this is a collection of parts that I've accumulated over years, probably seven or eight years. And all of these parts here are genuine Lamborghini parts. The majority of these parts are actually new. Some are used. These parts here are really more just the aesthetics. It's not the drivetrain. Um, I kind of shared a little bit of those parts. My objective of buying parts, I wanted as new of a car as possible. And what I did buy used, I wanted like new parts. Most of the mechanical parts that I bought were under 10,000 miles. So I wanted as new as possible or like new parts for this project. Not really a secret here, but Lamborghini's most famous off the shelf part are Nissan 300Z headlights. It says right here, Nissan on both of them. Lamborghini used a carbon fiber eyebrow trim to cover that. I have those. Um, again, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Most people know this who are into Lamborghinis. Real quick though, Audi bought Lamborghini and wanted to do a facelift, so they use off the shelf parts. It doesn't make sense to build a million dollar mold when you're gonna only build 300 cars. That right there is why Lamborghini uses off the shelf parts. There's a reason why the Chevy Corvette is the most bang for your buck, because GM can use leverage to produce their car. In the 10 years of production of the Diablo, Lamborghini only produced a little over 2,000 cars. With the Murcielago, they produced just over 4,000. So very difficult to be able to build leverage, so you use off-the-shelf parts to bring costs down. You can pick a setup on eBay for $150 to $300, depending on condition. If you want to buy Lamborghini ones, they're going to be $1,000, $1,500 a piece. They're exact same thing. Once again, no big secret there. These are the door locks that Lamborghini used for the Diablo and the Murcielago. These are off-the-shelf parts from a Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes used these in their cars from the mid 60s to the mid 80s over 20 years very common to get you can get the door lock latch and the striker a set of them on eBay go for about 75 to 150 bucks if you look up just one of these latches from Lamborghini they want $1,500 for them thousand dollars it's it's crazy again dirty little secret This is the door light that goes over the shoulder on the center console. This is an off-the-shelf part to an Alfa Romeo. You can pick these up new for roughly 60 bucks. You can find used ones on eBay for roughly $25. Uh, Lamborghini doesn't actually charge too much for this part. This is an original one. You see the baggage with the Lamborghini insignia on it. Lamborghini eBay sellers, they will jack the price of this up just because it says Lamborghini on it. This is a dome light out of a Lamborghini Diablo 6.0. Uh, this is really one of my favorite parts because it's the dirtiest part of Lamborghini that I've found thus far. This is a $20 light. 
Lamborghini charges $2,000 for this light. And this light is hard to get, but this light actually came out of a Fiat. You can see right there, a Fiat. You got guys driving around in their half a million, $300,000 Lamborghini, and they got a Fiat light in it. That's not a Lamborghini, it's a Fiat. Lamborghini takes this Fiat box, they order the light, throws it away, takes that $20 part, takes their bag, stick it in there. Now that part's worth $2,000. Dirty. Here I have another dome light. This is what $4,000 looks like. Anybody want to trade me for a set of wheels? This is another good one from Lamborghini. It is the mirror switch to be able to adjust the mirrors. And this is used in uh, a multitude of different cars. Uh, Hummer used it, Cadillac used it. It actually says on the back, GM. I know you think that stands for General Motors. It doesn't. It stands for greatly multiply or generate money. Take this, put it into a Lamborghini package. It's worth a lot more. You can pick these up on eBay used for roughly 25 bucks, 30 bucks. I think Lamborghini charges roughly $600 for the switch. This is another good one. This is the turn signal switch that Lamborghini uses. This is an off the shelf part out of an Alfa Romeo. I bought this brand new for 75 bucks. Lamborghini charges much more for these and people on eBay to try to sell used ones for even higher. Dirty. So these are the tail lights that Lamborghini used on the 6.0. They are made by Hella. These are really just $15 tail lights. They use these tail lights for tractors. Ferrari used them. Pagani Zonda used them. And they're just real cheaply made tail lights. I paid $15 a piece for them. I think Lamborghini takes them, puts them in their package, and sells them for roughly $85 because their little package is worth worth a lot. License plate uh, lights here, again made by Hella, made in India, um, and I don't remember what I paid for these. Pretty cheap, um, but again, a uh, little bit of Lamborghini's markup. So this was my very first original Lamborghini part that I ever bought. It was a pretty exciting moment for me. It was seven, eight years ago. It's the third brake light. I bought it, I think off of eBay, and I got the, the, the bag with the Lamborghini written on it. And I was like, oh, I got a real Lamborghini part. And it's just a hella third brake light. It's uh, not specific to Lamborghini. I think Ferrari used it. So this is the airbag switch used on a Diablo and a Murcielago, just an off the shelf part used in multiple cars. I don't uh, remember exactly what this came out of, but again, you can pick one of these up on eBay for roughly 35 bucks. But if you're Lamborghini, you just stick that part into one of these bags and you upsell it. Now this is a really fun part that I ordered. This is brand new, ordered it through Lamborghini. It's just one of the most iconic parts of a manual Murcielago, and it is the shift gate knob. It's heavy. I could have this machine much cheaper, but I wanted a genuine Lamborghini made wherever they get these from. I don't know, they probably just have some machinists make it. You can see the packaging. So I paid their prices. They're not cheap. Probably could have had it made for less than a hundred bucks. It is made of stainless steel. That was an exciting part to get. This is a Diablo shift gate and shifter. I bought this used. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this. The shift gate is for five speed. I have a Murcielago gearbox, which is a six speed. I have this replica shift gate made. This is out of aluminum. Lamborghini made them out of stainless steel. I'm probably gonna have this remade out of stainless steel. Not pay Lamborghini's prices. They want like twelve, fourteen hundred dollars for this plate. If I can't get a Mercy Lago shift box, I'll probably just use this and convert it. Um, my shifter 
does not, um, that my shifter knob does not fit on here exactly. It'll stick up too tall. These uh, shifter rods here, they're like 2000 bucks from Lamborghini. So I don't want to modify this. I'll probably just have one machined. Um, the Mercy Lagos are a little bit shorter, actually quite a bit shorter um, to get the right height for the shift knob. So that's probably what I will do for that. So this is kind of a cool little story. An electrician I knew seen my chassis at work when I was building it and asked about it and I told him I was building a Lamborghini. And he told me that his father-in-law had one and that uh, his father-in-law passed away. He said, I have some Lamborghini parts at the house. They're in bags. And he goes, I don't know what they are. I don't know what they're worth, but you can have them. So he ended up bringing them in to me. They're just weather stripping um, for the doors and, the, and I got the trunk stripping. And then also the, um, the windshield wiper eyebrows. These were in the package. I think they're new. They do need to be reconditioned, but uh, that was a nice little gift from him and a little surprise. Thanks, Matt. These are Lamborghini rear diff mounts. I just bought these from a buddy, save them fabrication. You get tired of making all these brackets, so it's kind of nice when you can get a set and not have to make anything. Again, nothing special here. So these are the door jam inner door lights. They are off the shelf parts. I don't remember what other vehicles use these. Lamborghini probably doesn't overcharge on these. I don't know what the cost of these are, but they're probably reasonable. Nothing dirty here. These are the inner door latch for the Lamborghini Diablo and Murcielago. Also the engine bonnet release. Three of these early models of these were made out of plastic and then Lamborghini later changed them to an aluminum billet because they were prone to breaking. This is something if you want, you're gonna have to pay their prices. It's not an off the shelf part. They're decent quality made. They're nice, they're clean, they look good. Good job, Lambo. This is an OEM steering wheel. I have the carbon fiber trim on it. This steering wheel is actually just a Momo steering wheel that has been modified. This back housing has just been welded on to a Momo steering wheel and then covered in leather. Uh, nothing special about it. Momo makes a nice steering wheel. Back in the day, Momo would charge roughly about $300 for this steering wheel. Nowadays, if you look on eBay, these things go for like $2,000. It's not a $2,000 steering wheel. It is exactly that. It's a Momo steering wheel. It's nice, nice quality made, but at $2,000, absolutely not. And that would be without this carbon fiber trim. This carbon fiber trim, if you want it, you're gonna have to pay for it. I bought it, it's OEM, they're overpriced, um, but it does look amazing, does look good, uh, and I'm pleased with it. That's one of the things you just kind of have to pay their prices. The steering wheel I bought years ago, I think I paid 400 bucks. I think that's pretty reasonable when a Momo steering wheel is $300 to pay another 100 bucks with it wrapped and with the mod on it that's priced appropriately the two thousand twenty five hundred dollars that people ask for them is absolutely ridiculous and let's see if i can get that in there this is silicone um replica for the um airbag um so end up finishing with a nice oem look this is a clock spring for a Lamborghini Diablo and Murcielago. These are very expensive. A clock spring in general is expensive to any normal car. They're a couple hundred bucks. This allows the steering wheel to freely spin the electronics like the horn and the airbag. These range from 600 to a thousand dollars. I looked it up, it's a TRW part. It's not really an off the shelf part. TRW made it for a few cars. With doing a whole bunch of research, I found out Ferrari used these and also Maserati used these. So if you want to buy a Lamborghini one, they're roughly a thousand dollars. A Ferrari one comes down to about 300 bucks. You can pick up a Maserati clock spring for about a hundred bucks. I don't know if that one's too dirty. It is, it is a rare part. Here is just a bunch of replica stickers. I will probably use these. Any of them that are not that accurate, I'll probably have remade. This is the suspension switch to a Diablo or Murcielago. I think it's pretty much specific to that car. I've never found it in any other vehicle. So if you want it, you're gonna have to pay Lamborghini's prices. They're hard to find used. I just bought this new and uh, yeah, it's decent. This is the cigarette lighter. 
basically a $15 part. Lamborghini doesn't charge too much for them, $26, but it's discontinued, so you can't buy it from them. It's just an off-the-shelf Audi cigarette lighter. These are Lamborghini Murcielago side marker lights, front and rear. The Diablo discontinued them, being that I have the Murcielago 6.2 engine in it. Bought these. I kind of like the idea of using these. I'm keeping the car and the family, maybe with a little upgrade. There's a picture of a rendering with these in it. I'm mixed. The other ones are definitely dated. These ones are a little more modern. I kind of like it. I'm not sure exactly what I'll go with. I do have these if I decide to go this route. Just some door handle gaskets. This is the center console button switch. I bought brand new. This is a little disappointing. You can see on those, maybe hopefully, that the rubber has gotten sticky or tacky. This is a new part, but it's still 20 years old. They feel really good when they're brand new, but it's common for the rubber to get sticky and that rubber coating will come off in the heat. If you press it, you'll leave fingerprints. It's typically roughly two or three hundred dollars just to have these recoded. I wanted to buy a new one. I didn't want to buy a used one and then spend two or three hundred dollars for a recoat. I'll just pay the normal price and then I get this. And this part is specific to Lamborghini. This is not an off the shelf part. So this is the ignition switch to a 6.0 Diablo and first generation Murcielago. And what it is, is an off the shelf TRW ignition switch. I actually bought a Murcielago LP640 steering column, not knowing that they were different. So this did not fit on it. The LP640 used an Audi ignition, actually. I was trying to convert it and I actually ended up destroying this thing. I got a whole bunch of pieces, it just fell apart. Whoops. <laughs> I was able to use the keys and the tumblers. Comes into the kit. These are the outer door locks. So these tumblers here, just inserted in there. And I got three keys, so it wasn't all in lost. Ended up buying a used ignition for an LP640 from Eurospares. They had one on there. I think they wanted like $55 for it. And it said it had a key in it. And I was like, there's no way that has the Mercy Lago key. Those go for several hundred dollars used, just the key. I bought it, sure enough, it came shift with the Mercy Lago key. Um, so that was a win for me. Lost a little bit of money on this, gained it back on that, and I got the tumblers for these. So it worked out in the end. These are clutch discs to the Lamborghini Murcielago. I got this when I purchased the engine. It is a used clutch, and this is what causes a ten to fifteen thousand dollar clutch change. I got that. It's completely used. There's nothing left on it. When you're collecting parts over time, opportunities come up. A buddy texted me telling me that there was a clutch disc for sale. He said the guy only wanted 400 bucks. I said, I'll pass. I want a new clutch or a rebuilt clutch. He just goes, okay, I'll tell him you don't want it. I think the thing's new. Wait, it's new? I said, can you confirm it? He uh, sent pictures to me. It looked in good condition. And the guy could not confirm if it was new. I told him, I said, hey, I'll give you 300 bucks for it. I'll take the risk. He said, 350, being this was international shipping. And when I got it, sure enough, it was a brand new clutch. So that was a big, big win. These things go for, you know, like $1,500, $3,000. So this is the climate control for Diablo 60 and Murcielago. This part is, is interesting. It's kind of an off the shelf part. I don't know who manufactured these. They were used in Range Rovers. A little bit different, these buttons are a little bit design different. The Lamborghini has green LED backlit and the Range Rovers are orange, but the housing and everything is the same. You can go pick those things up for 50, 60 bucks. A Lamborghini charges like $1,200 for this. This is the, an actual OEM Lamborghini one. I acquired this in a deal. I made some parts for a gentleman in exchange for this. So I got a new climate control and I also got a used uh, aluminum trim ring that goes around there. So these are the badging for Lamborghini. Rear end, outside badging. This is again on the rear, outside badging. And this is the gauge cluster badging. These two here are actually replicas. I'm not sure if I will use them, but I do have them. These are the mounting brackets for the front differential on a all wheel drive setup. I bought these uh, along with a torque tube and a drive shaft. 
to do the proper or updated front wheel drive delete. Just like Nick Cage stole the United States Constitution to prevent it from being stolen, I bought a front wheel drive setup to do a front wheel drive delete. Makes perfect sense. So these are the pedals to a Murcielago. They were also used in a Diablo GT and GTR. The 6.0 used rubber pads. These are actually just off the shelf Momo parts. Uh, Lamborghini just used them. They put the 6.2 liter on it. That's why I got it, because I got the 6.2 engine. The quality of these are garbage. They really are. They're just cast aluminum. I don't know if Momo sent Lamborghini their worst copies and kept the good ones for themselves, but you can see the edges on these are not clean. They're not impressive. Again, this is one of those, uh, you get some Lamborghini parts and it's disappointing, especially from Momo. Momo makes good quality parts. So shame on you, Momo. A few more parts here. These are the boots to the rear bumper, specific to Lamborghini. They're not that expensive. This is the gas pedal potentiometer cover um, from Lamborghini. This is new. It wasn't that much. I think it's 40, 50 bucks from Lamborghini. eBay sellers try to sell them for a lot more. It's very cheap plastic. You can bend this. It would break. And of course you kick your feet on it. It's not even fiberglass. It's just some cheap parts. Here's just a few parts. I don't want to take them out of the packages, but they're all new. Here's the spare key for the passenger airbag lock. These are the uh, coat hangers that go on the back. These are some grills, a couple of window switches. Now these are spacers for the rear bumpers. This is a front driver's side turn signal. These are made by Vallejo. Vallejo makes all kinds of uh, plastic turn signals, rear, front, for many different vehicles all over the world. They're decent, they look good. So these are the diffusers and defroster vents specific to Lamborghini. They're not crazy expensive. And I got, here are the vents. These are pretty cheap, the cup and then the diffuser. They do make off the shelf parts of this vent style, which was made for like a bus, but it doesn't have the insignia on it. Um, I wanted to have the actual bowl, which you can see there. These without the bowl are about $15 for the set. I bought these years ago. I think Lamborghini wants 85 bucks just for the diffuser. Um, crazy. Here are the warning light bars. You have two of them. This is what goes above the dash cluster. You have a left and right. These are OEM. This is for the 6.0-2001 model version. I also have a warning light cover trim that I ordered over a year ago. It's on back order. Maybe I'll get it. I don't know. So we'll see on that. Here's a box of an assortment of parts. They got brackets in here, just miscellaneous. This is a wiring harness for all of the gauge clusters. That would be a bracket for the speedometer. I have a gasket there, lights for the clock, screws and nuts and bolts. Um, some of these go to the steering column. You have crush washers. There's another nut, a couple more washers. Here's a seat belt. That's that box. Every once in a while when you buy a Lamborghini part, you actually get a nice Lamborghini box. This is the steering wheel, which you've already seen. This here is a Lamborghini genuine spare part. What it is, is the speedometer. Uh, there you go. It's got the Lamborghini bowl and logo on it. This gauge here is actually just a video gauge. Video, you can see right there. So Lamborghini used off the shelf video gauges. I bought real genuine Lamborghini ones because the inlays. Some of the older Lamborghinis did say VDO underneath it. All of mine do say Lamborghini. It would have been more cost effective to buy just the off the shelf VDO ones and print labels. But I'm trying to build this car as close as to a real thing as I possibly can within my limits and resources. I mean, I'm gonna have to make cuts somewhere and compromises, but uh, as close as I can, trying to make it. And this is the Diablo 6.0 gauge cluster. All genuine Lamborghini parts, all new with the exception of the carbon fiber trim. This really is why I opened up with that magic illustration. Although you have cheap plastic diffusers, off the shelf video parts that you can go pick up from your local Napa, arranged in a piece of carbon fiber with some aluminum billet trim. 
When put together, off-the-shelf parts become magical. It's a thing of art. It's a thing of beauty. So this finish is more of the Grandmaster checkerboard. Lamborghini also used a blue carbon fiber weave. That has a much darker finish. Carbon fiber is more black. Carbon fiber runs at an angle rather than vertical and horizontal. And they have a blue strand in it. I prefer this look over the blue weave. So I have this, I have the checkered steering wheel inlay. I have plans on having the radio bezel and the center console made out of the same materials. They will be replicated from real parts. Uh, right now, I'm trying to track down a center console. I had some leads on it that kind of went cold. Hopefully I'll be able to track that down and have that center console replicated from a real part. Again, I'm trying to build this as accurate as possible. Well, that's going to wrap up the parts section of this video. I do have about three more totes of parts in storage. This is just what I had on hand. wanted to share what parts I do have. Also, I will put in the description a list of off-the-shelf parts that Lamborghini used for those who are interested. Any parts that you know of that I didn't mention, um, put in the comments section just to help out the community and people. I don't know how to make a parts video exciting or entertaining. And this is what I came up with. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This will be my last story video for a while. This really brings my project to the current state that it is in. I will make more story videos as I progress through my project, but that will be down the road. I have a long recovery. I have a broken arm. It doesn't look like it's a broken arm, but there's two plates and 16 screws in there. I'm limited to what I can do. I'll try to figure out some creative ways to make videos to keep progressing forward in this. Thank you for taking the time for watching. Take care.